Hey guys, today's date is Tuesday, November 27th, 2012. Do I have the date right? Let me check the phone. Yes, and it is 4.52 p.m. I'm Oscar Alonzo, and this is a vlog update. Hey guys, so the last three months have been really, really weird for me. Work has been crazy, and work's actually going to get a little harder as of December, sometime in December. They're installing these driver cams that watch you do everything you do. So, yeah, I, I'm a professional driver. I work in sanitation, that's all I'm saying. And yes, I see the irony is beautiful, Oscar and garbage. You know, the what? I've ever hopped out of a garbage can. Well, what happens on my route stays on my route, okay? But, um... Anyway, so really big announcements. The first one I want to make is uh, thanks to my good friend So Mungry, who uh, I, I stumbled across this stuff for a while ago when I was playing War for Cybertron. I really wanted to get all the achievements and stuff. He and I were talking. We're really big fans of the franchise, so really cool guy. I want to give him thanks again. Dude, like, hoard me out something serious. Um, I did an opening for one of his shows called Soundwave Sundays. I animated a little something with Soundwave, and the second one was with Grimlock and Soundwave. So, um... Yes, I'm going to answer a few frequently asked questions, and again, big thanks to So Mungry. And all my new subscribers, I want to say hello. Thanks for making me a big deal. So, um, first frequently asked question is, when's the next time you and Razor Fist got to have another chat? Um, Razor Fist is a very busy man. So, if I ever plan on doing anything with him in the near future, I'm going to try to get with him in advance about it and see if he can make, up, make the time for me. Um, second is, uh, a lot of you guys have asked, when's the next episode of The Ozone? Okay, that's like the third most popular thing you asked regarding my content, but the Ozone sadly will no longer be uh, featured on this channel. The Ozone is going to be moving to a weekly internet talk show uh, hosted by a website that just recently picked me up, uh, BKBN.net. I know you heard of it. I've done work with one of their big boys over there, Mark Corum. I've done a lot of voice work for him in the past. Um, really cool guy. I've known him now for years. Shoot, like two, three years? Damn. But uh, yeah, really cool guy. Um <clears throat> He's always said I should really own my own talk. I should really host my own talk show one day, um, and so we're gonna make it happen. And uh, so big shout out to my new friends over there. You know, you know who you are, Boxing Type X, Anthony James, as well as you know Sean Long with his pretty little full hawk. So jealous. How do you get yours to stay up? Never mind. We're off topic. But yeah, be sure to shoot over to BKBN.net. Tell them I sent you and say hello to all the guys over there. They're actually really cool guys over there. Um, I spoke to a few of them. Um, actually been exchanging a lot of, a lot of comments here and there with Sean Long on Facebook. I haven't Skyped with him yet, or, uh, Boxing Type X yet. You're always talking about, yo, we need to get on Skype. Bro, we live in two different coasts of the, of the country. We need to agree on a time before any of that happens. But, um, so yeah, the Ozone's gonna be moved on over there. I have one more Ozone plan that's gonna be exclusive for this channel. Um, I don't want to divert, uh, um say who it's going to be with and all that stuff. That's something I need to take to myself to see if it's going to pan out or not because I hate having mud on my face. You know, like, I'm going to be talking to this guy. And then, you know, months go by, nothing. Nothing. And then I just look stupid. Well, to myself, and I'm sure to some of you. But, yeah. Um, most frequently asked question, when's the next episode of Transformers Peacetime or Mortal Kombat called the sack coming out? Got a cheat sheet right there. And that's the doorbell. I hope that didn't get picked up. But uh, those are my dogs barking. I'm sure that'll get picked up. They ruined the lines for the Thanksgiving special. Um, <clears throat> next episode for those two, they're, they're in production. Episode four for Peacetime is written. I just got to reread it, make sure it's all cool. And then I got to go to my voice actors and make sure they're, um, they are available. Um, as far as Mortal Kombat call a sec is, episode two is written. I'm waiting on voice lines. And I actually got to finish building Striker and uh, a few other characters for that episode. Um... Question number three, what kind of program do you use for animating? Anime Studio Pro 8. I bought that on Cyber Monday last year. Um, I got it for about 120 ship. Best investment ever. Uh, I can't say it's paid for itself. I don't make money off my videos. I hope to in the near future. But um, it's it's a cool program. It was really intimidating for me. But um, I got kick-ass online tutorials from Nate from Deadpool and Friends. Um online actually over the phone tutorials from Nate from Deadpool and Friends and we use a program where he can you know use my computer while he's on his and he's taught me so much dude I can't thank Nate from Deadpool and Friends enough seriously like I just can't thank him enough without him I'd still be doing slideshow with you know oh shitty voiceover but um uh, another frequently asked question is who does all the voices for your Transformers peacetime I do a lot of voices 
Some I improv like Skywarp. I improv that say, hey, hey, it's like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's whatever. And then Megatron's always a classic. Hello there. And then Optimus Prime. It's just, I really wanted to make like a really, really stereotypical um, John Wayne. So it's like, you know, I am Optimus Prime. This day, we give thanks. It's like everything he says is fucking stoic for some reason. I don't know why. It's like he's giving a speech over anything. Um, Grimlock, of course. Grimlock is a character I've done since I was a kid. So I've always, you know, I've always had so much fun, you know, just sitting there going, mm, Me, Grimlock, love too much metal. You know, I've been doing that since I was a kid, man. Um, Soundwave, it's just Dr. Claw. So, you know, and then you use a certain instrument I use. It's a, I had to learn, I had to learn about the instrument on my own. So, you guys asking me about that? I'm sorry. I was sworn to secrecy by fellow voice actors that use that gimmick to do their sound wave. I gotta take it to the grave. Sorry. But, uh, you know, a few other characters I plan on voicing in the near future, um... I have none on the top of my head. Uh, will I ever hold auditions? I don't like holding auditions because what happens is your your Gmail account gets flooded with like people with like really crappy mics, or you know, or think that you know they could just go ahead and make the calls on how they think a character should sound. You know, so basically, if I'm looking for a certain voice for a character like um, uh, I believe I haven't heard back from this guy, so I guess I'm going to be casting for Shockwave again soon. Because I don't think my shockwave is very good. And uh, I kind of want it to be as G1 as possible. As well as someone who could do a good Transformers Prime breakdown. Uh, they hate to think I created that character model for nothing. And uh, like at the moment, I don't know if I'm going to make... I, <clears throat> I And yeah, I give away, I remember giving away another guy I rendered. But uh, I rendered full motion my version of Movie Barricade. Except I changed up his face. I didn't like the insect look. you know. But I love the black police car um, motif. That's the wrong word, but whatever. But uh, yeah, I am. Um, I'm probably gonna make him like sound like he's from Brooklyn and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like I, it's all thanks again to you guys, your support, and again to my buddy Nate from Deadpool and Friends for pushing me into into actually animating something. It takes me longer to make stuff now, but in the end, I'm I have a better sense of satisfaction with the final product. You know. Um, uh, where do you use the music and sound effects? Where do you get them from? That's another question. I get them from I forgot where I downloaded like this whole folder and I had it scanned thoroughly with Norton to make sure I wasn't getting any Trojans. Well, if they had any, I'm sure they would have, you know, found a way to slip by that. Was but uh, thankfully they weren't infected with anything, so I use them. I use them a lot. I use the background music, sound effects, stuff like that. I'm still trying to control the volume, the audio level when I uh, use a sound effect in to Anime Studio. Um, but as far as voice auditions go, to go back on that real quick, I won't be posting any videos soon. I generally just hunt. I hunt down, uh, I don't like to use impersonators that much, because if the only lines you can say for a character is, like, two or three from the fucking movie, the animated film, like, there's one guy who has, like, an amazing Springer impersonation, but I've only heard two lines. Give me dialogue, man, and don't try to quote the movie. It's bullshit. Go over here and shoot me him just, like, you know, trying to pick up a chick, sounding like... Springer or whoever, but anyway. The next and final question is uh, Do you or do you have you? Let me say this right because I, I can't read my own handwriting. Will you review toys anytime soon? No, I think enough people do that. So, yeah, again, same. Same models before, you know, if it starts to feel like work, I'm quitting. <laughs> That's all there is to it right now. It's still fun. I've been doing this all year, and I fucking love it. It's December. Man, this year has flown by. You know, everyone has changed so much this year. You know, a lot of friends of mine have, have are doing these amazing things while they're out in the real world. You know, I got peacetime. I, I've been dating this chick now for like three months. She bought me that awesome, you know, GDO Voyager uh, hotspot. Um... Hell, I turned 33 this past Sunday. So, yeah, make sure to uh, be on the lookout for that in the near future. And uh, big things to come in 2013 as well. So, you guys take care. I'm Oscar Alonzo. Have a nice day somewhere else.